legends, welcome to the first day of England's 2022 World Cup campaign. And there's no way to start a, an England game day like going for an English breakfast, is there? So we're off to, I think, Toby Carvery. Um, I, mainly because I just like, after going to the Premier in yesterday, and if you, you know, if you've watched the vlog, um, they didn't have like a buffet breakfast, and I just kind of, I feel entitled to one. Like I feel like I deserve one, so that's why I'm going to Toby Carvery. Also, they've just announced that England aren't going to wear the One Love Band to support diversity in Qatar for the, you know, LGBTQ plus community and also um, like different ethnicities. And I, I'll be absolutely honest, I'm furious. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. England months and months ago say, no, we're gonna wear it. We're gonna wear it, we don't care. If they find us, who cares? We don't care. We're gonna wear it no matter what. We're gonna wear this special armband that you know, makes a statement about diversity and equality and standing up against, you know, just hate. And they've bottled it. So two days before the World Cup, they're bamboos. The first day of the England game, England say, oh, no, 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 us and Wales, we're not going to wear the band now. I don't know if Holland still are. I don't know if any of the others are bottling it. But I'm really, really disappointed as a... Englishman, I guess, and I and I and I don't want to like dig Harry Kane out because I think it's probably as much an FA decision as it is Harry Kane. But I think if it's Jordan Henderson's decision, and if Jordan Henderson's England captain, like I want him to be, although granted he probably shouldn't be in the team now at this point. Um, I don't think Jordan Henderson would just back down and take that and, and just say, oh, well, we, we won't wear this this band that represents equality and unity and all the things we believe in, all the things that England represents and all the things that, you know, what we should, if like, if this was going to happen, we should have done a rainbow kit. Like, like, do like an England rainbow kit with like a rainbow badge and stuff. Like, I'm just, I'm not happy with it. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm upset. I think it's, I think it's appalling and I think, the way that FA has handled this whole World Cup in general, they've really let down the LGBT community and they've really let down that whole, you know, Rainbow Laces campaign and Stonewall and everything that we've been trying to form as a country. And even the Lionesses, like, if, if you know, the Lionesses are so inspirational in terms of that community because so many of them are out and openly gay and obviously a lot of men's footballers don't feel like they can do that yet. And I think this is a big step back and I'm really, really disappointed. And I tried, I've been saying like we could do a video about the Qatar ethics the whole way and I've been trying to avoid it and trying to avoid like a rant, but it kind of happened. And I just, yeah, the World Cup shouldn't be there. It should have been somewhere else and I'm furious really, but <sighs> let's get that parked. England play, we're gonna win. We're playing, I think, Saudi Arabia. Yeah, it's Saudi Arabia. I don't know why I'm doubting myself because Wales play USA today. We're gonna smash them. It's gonna be a great game. Jordan Henderson's gonna come on and score. Connor Cody will score. Trent will score. Sterling will score. Am I missing anyone that used to play for Liverpool, guys? I don't think so. Yeah, so that'll be a full goal scorers. Oh yeah. So let's go get breakfast, but I'm very angry at the FA. Like, I, even if it's a million pound a game, if we get to find a million pound a game, it's worth a million pound for that statement. You know, like, like what is the price of saying that everyone should be equal? It, can you put a number on that? I, I really don't think you can. So just to add to that, there's a poll on Sky. 66% of people think that England are wrong to back down. I don't know what 34% of you are doing. Let's have a little poll on the channel as well. If you think England are right to not wear the armband, wait, no. If you think England should wear the armband, give the video a thumbs up. If you think England shouldn't wear the armband, give it a thumbs down. So also, it's apparently FIFA have suggested they might yellow card people for wearing the 
armband. So that's part of the thing, because obviously if you get two yellow cards, you miss a game. So for the first game, South Gar Gar for the first game, Gareth Southgate should wear it. The next game, put the assistant manager wearing it on the touchline. Next game, put it on the physio. Let's just get everyone one yellow card, like all, all the non-playing stuff. And let's get the players to wear rainbow laces because there's nothing in the FIFA rules about what colour laces you wear. So let's get the Stonewall rainbow laces out, let's all put them in, and let's say fuck you to inequality because it, I'm, honestly, I'm fucking angry about it. Like, I'm fucking, I'm, I can't believe it. Like, I feel fucking let down. I don't know how you all feel, but like, I've got so many friends and, you know, like my, my brother is part of the LGBT community who likes fucking football. And I just feel totally fucking let down. I really do. I think it's an absolute disgrace. I'm, I'm fuming. I really am. I mean, I mean, this is the most angry football has made me in a long time. And like, I don't think I've been this angry about anything to do with football since like Tom Hicks and George Gillette. Like that's the sort of fucking, like that's how pissed off I am about this. It's unbelievable. Oh, maybe I'm hungry. Let's go get breakfast. Here's my breakfast. The biggest challenge is going to be eating it without getting it all over my white shirt. Wish me luck. So that's breakfast done. We need to pick some shopping up to do it away for the weekend so we didn't do the normal sort of British thing of going shopping at the weekend to do the big shop. So yeah, we're going to pop to Lidl and get some stuff. So I'm going to a German supermarket. Before an England game. It's alright with friends now. They've got these really cool backpacks like Slytherin, Gryffindor, and that's just Hogwarts, but there's a Slytherin and a Gryffindor one. £8, but they're kids ones. So they'll be too tiny for me, unfortunately. Also, I love balls I saw. the blue one. It's like a salsa, but I've never had the sweet whiskey glaze. So I bought that with some pork steaks to give a little go. Not in this video, but I'm sure it'd be nice. They also have all their Christmas stuff out, so if you're ready for Christmas, get on. Oh, they've got a snack helmet. Look at that. The price is just 30% off. But what does 30% off mean? It's like an American football helmet with like space to put like different bowls and stuff in. I need to find out how much it is. Bain and Budweiser because it's the official beer of the World Cup. But I think I've got beers at home but it doesn't have the World Cup on. Has anyone tried this? Cherry spiced rum. It sounds nice, but I don't want to try it unless I know, so let me know. I'll tell you what, Alex Scott, I absolutely love you. You're wonderful. She's repping the One Love Band in the stadium because she can't get a yellow card. That's the sort of shit I love to see. That is leadership. That is what England should be doing. I'm surprised... There's not more of it, to be fair. I'd love to see, like, maybe BBC hasn't got them bands in ready, but I'd love to see everyone wearing them for the rest of the tournament just as a big fuck you to anyone that thinks that people shouldn't be equal. So the England team is out, and Harry Maguire is at centre-half. Kieran Trippi is right back, which means no space for the greatest right back in world football, Trent Alexander-Arnold, which is just absolutely outrageous in my opinion but you know Trips will play he'll make a mistake in the first game and then Trent can play the next one maybe I don't know hopefully we win <sighs> I feel a little bit nervous is, is it Iran in England's group not Saudi Arabia um oh yeah or is it Saudi Arabia no it's Saudi Arabia no it is Iran I've got my wall chart up there, so I check the World Cup wall chart to find out. I'm 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 a, a very big mix of nerves, excitement for this. It's definitely it's definitely like got a tinge of like the whole World Cup, you know, not wearing the one love band. I'm really disappointed. I love that Alex Scott had that on by the pitch side. But yeah, I just I'm nervous. I don't like the team selection, but we are playing four three three instead of a back five, which I really rate. So I'll give Southgate credit where it's due. Let's see how we get on. Also, I love the giant World Cup statue they're putting in the middle for each game. That is an absolute vibe. I love it. My prediction is Raheem Sterling, man of the match. He's the only person that's played for Liverpool before, so it has to be him. 
one o'clock games is an excuse to have a drink lunchtime. So it's been a weird game so far. Iran had like a bad concussion. The keeper tried to stay on for at least 10 minutes after that, which is crazy. It's also weird how bad concussion protocols are in football. Like, there should definitely be temporary concussion substitutes. I think it's stupid not having them really. It just makes so much sense. They do it in so many other sports. Um, England playing fairly well, but since the like the stoppage, Iran are just like kicking lumps out of people. There's been like loads of fouls, like two, three yellow cards. But it's no no, and England haven't really created anything. It's worrying. Drew Bellingham has scored a header, so it wasn't Sterling, an ex Liverpool player. It's Drew Bellingham, a future Liverpool player, hopefully. Good header, good cross from Shaw. 1 0 England in the 34th minute. And my tongue is turning blue because of my lolly, which we've got at the beach, which is a great vibe. <laughs> Great goal from Bukayo Saka. Great little left foot volley. Dips into the far corner, like the top bin as well, almost. Properly good goal. Really like that. And to be fair, Harry Maguire gets an assist with a header. So he has looked a threat from every single corner. As much as I don't trust him defensively or, or rate him in comparison to some of the other English players, he's having a, a decent game. But obviously, it's around and they're not really offering any sort of threat at all. But it's 2-0, 45th minute. There'll probably be about 10 minutes added on. They haven't said yet. They still haven't said. But there should be a lot added on for that concussion. As soon as I stop filming, Raz scores. Raz with a little, just a little sort of toe poke volley, really. The cross for, I think, was Harry Kane. Um, I haven't seen a replay yet. We still celebrate. But it's 3-0 England. David Beckham's clapping. Told you Sterling would be my other match. MOTM. Raheem Sterling. It's coming home. It's coming home. So it's half time. It's 3 0 England. Great performance so far. It's definitely, definitely coming home. I literally, I'm convinced. I hope everyone around the country is convinced. Nothing can go wrong. We're beating Iran. You know, Iran are a quality side. They beat Uruguay a little while ago, who I think might win the World Cup. So, you know, they've got the best striker in the world, Uruguay. And Luis Suarez as well. Um, <laughs> I am very excited for this World Cup. It's it's fun that it's back. It's fun that it's happening. But just, what is the whole one love, one love, one love? Oh, man, I can't even say it. I'm that disgusted with the decision. I'm just surprised they're not wearing it and I would have really liked to have seen Harry Kane just put it on anyway. But, it's a disappointment. But, well, here we are. England are going to win the World Cup. 82% possession in the first half. Seven shots to one. Four shots on target to zero. What a performance. Saka scored again with a little curl and effort. It's had a big deflection and it's 4 0 England. Iran scored. Harry Maguire's just been literally run past. He's now... Looks like he could be concussed, actually. The, um, the medics are checking him out. Looks like they're checking him for concussion. Um, so let's not slate Harry Maguire for a mistake because it could have been concussion. And that's, you know, it's obviously not his fault. But yeah, he's, he's not the best. And also Pickford, the ball goes like straight over Pickford's head. Um, I always have a problem when a goalkeeper lets a ball go over their head because I really... I just feel like really anything... Anything not either side of you and just above your head shouldn't get past you, in my opinion, but it did, you know, and that's a bit disappointing. Marcus Rashford's on. Lots of criticism of him being in the squad because he isn't really playing that great for United. And he's had about three touches of the ball and he scored. So, very cool, very collective. And I think he tried to send a message that he wants to start the next game. And to be fair, I rate that. So Jack Grealish scored, and then he went out in stoppage time. So England win six one, and there's a very soft penalty just been given for a little bit of a shirt pull. <laughs> VAR called the ref didn't give it. VAR called him over. He watched it about twelve times. Um, they're stepping up with a penalty now. It's not going to affect the result because we're in the hundred and second minute of the game. 
but he's now stepping up. So let's see if he scores. He looks... He looks somewhat confident, but also somewhat nervous at the same time, which isn't that usual. He's out of breath. Okay, he's doing a sort of... I don't know what sort of run up that is, but yeah, he just rolls it the other way to what the keeper dies. England 6, Iran 2. I'm pretty sure that'll be the final score. It's a good opening game for England. And it's nice that Iran had something to celebrate as well because they've had a lot of fans go over because obviously because Qatar isn't that far away from them. So, yeah, I'm I'm not unhappy with 6-2 to England at all. So, for the Holland game, I'm watching it on my PC screen while I was playing FIFA on my PlayStation 5. So, yeah, I, I want to see the game, but also, like, there's no money. So, I'm pretty confident Holland probably win. So I'm sort of multitasking for it. So Holland beat Senegal 2 0, which is kind of what I wanted because Mane's not there. I want Holland to win because I want to support my guy Van Dyke. I'm now going out to play football, which is why I got the old Under Armour on and a coat. Um, I'll probably film a little bit of the football or something, but I don't know because it is raining really bad. So if I don't film anything, then I'm sorry. I'm going to do a Ben Foster and set you up. Down there. Go smash your phone. Look at that. Nah, go for it. Smash the one and just get a new one. What's the one where they get her at once? It's random celebrating in front of the camera. Oh, boys! Come on! Perfect, that's footage I want. So I missed most of Wales USA because I was at football. Um, I played really badly, but I still bagged quite a few goals. It's just like we play seven on the side, but I, yeah, I just I hurt my ankle last week. It was a challenge. I actually got sent off. It was a challenge where I've been kicked up the calf, and you know I had a bruise on my calf and everything, um, and a little graze with a little tiny few spots of blood from like their studs. So I got kicked up my calf. Referee didn't give a foul. Person then tried to shoulder barge me. I shoulder barged them, but with a bit more strength. And then the ref gave a fucking foul against me, so I kicked the ball away and got sent off. But yeah, um, I hadn't played football since then, which was almost two weeks ago, I think. Um, as you saw when I kicked the... If you watched my arm vlog, you would have seen me kick a ball in that and like struggle. Um, it's, that's why, basically, because of, you know, I hurt my, hurt my ankle, which obviously, you know, is dodgy from sort of past videos. But yeah, what was USA 1-1? Seemed a pretty good game. Um, obviously, I didn't watch much of it, so I'm going off what I've sort of heard and and seen on the radio and stuff and heard on the radio and heard from different people. But it seemed like a good game. That's England's first game with the World Cup done. 6-2 win, I'm really happy with, but then I'm not happy with not wearing the One Love band. Like, <laughs> Why? Like, why? I just don't get it, personally. It really, really, really sort of... I really disliked it. I think it should have been done. Um, I just I really don't like that decision not to wear it. I think it's poor. Um, I'm disappointed as well with, like, Van Dyke not wearing it. And I get that it's probably the Football Association's decision, not the actual players, maybe. But I think the players need to use their voice there and try and... Try and stand up. And also, my hair is, like, annoying me because it's all fluffy while I've washed it after football. Um, but I haven't, like, brushed it yet. I've just dried it. So it's just, like, my hair is all gone, like, puffy. Leave a comment down below who you thought was man of the match for England. I really don't know. I don't think anyone was actually... Probably Saka, maybe. 
But I don't, I don't think anyone was actually that good. I think just Iran were that bad. Um, disappointing with Pickford. It's also come out Harry Maguire has got a concussion and he might miss a few games. So that, that's unsettling that things have to change. Um, and it's a shame because he was, like I say, he was a threat at corners. He didn't have to do much defensively. And the one he sort of was involved in, he was apparently concussed. So you can't, you can't be mad at the guy. But yeah, he's coming on, guys. All I have to say is, I've been linked. You've been one of my legends. Thank you so much for watching. It is coming home real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.